My name is Gabe, and I'm 17 years old. I'm a very, uh, a very artistic person. I love drawing. I love making music. I've been making music for a couple of years, and down where I previously lived, I was. I was the brown kid that made music, you know. In some ways it was cool because, you know, everyone came to me whenever they wanted to make music. And since I love music, it was like, I was always down, you know, I was down for this and that. I was down to make a song. I was down to join the band. I was down to do whatever I could in music related because that's always been my passion. But at the same time, it's like that stereotype that comes with it. It's very frustrating. I make album covers for myself. I mix and produce all my own stuff. I know how to play certain instruments because I took band. I joined choir for a little bit. I. Uh, joined show choir, so like dancing and singing and everything. And it, I mean, it was hell, it, it was really cheesy, but I mean, it was an experience that I'll love forever. For me, I have several different ways to handle, let's say anxiety and depression and like anything that's really kind of like weighing me down. Growing up, uh, my mom, she had like these little, uh, they're like the spool things with all the CDs on them, or they'd be like Ziploc bags or like these little like zip up cases, and they were just filled of CDs with just a bunch of random music from like Kid Cudi to like James Brown to Michael Jackson to Prince. And it was just like growing up, there was songs that we'd hear in the background that we, you know, we learned the words to as kids. And then like, a, like later on, you'd hear it and it'd be like, you know, sort of like a flashback to childhood. But for me, it's always been music. And if I didn't have music, because for a while there, I got into trouble. So, you know, I didn't really have that, uh, I didn't have that option. So it's music, going outside. I really like being outside. I love outside. I always just like go for a walk, put on my headphones, just zone out and think. And if I can't do that, then I'll work out. Like literally any way I can just keep my mind busy, I will. I feel like I'm a misunderstood person. Sometimes it's hard for me to talk about what's going on or and like when I try to talk about what's going on with me, I usually like choke on the words. So for me, music has always been like a way of expressing that to people who are listening. And even if nobody is listening, it's still out there in the open. I still said it, you know, the message is still in the air. And it's like, it's kind of like a timeline for me. like. Last year, we went through a lot of problems, me and my family. Through that time, even though it was bad, the best thing that came out of it was the bond that I grew with my family and the music that I made during that time. And now whenever I look back on it and I listen to the songs that I made, it's like, that's where you were a year ago. Like, that's what you were going through. That's what was in your head. That's what was happening to you. And on one end, it like kind of breaks me a little bit, you know, like you had to go through that. But at the same time, it's like, you weren't alone. You know, even if you felt like you were alone, you weren't, and you grew from that experience. You know, you like blossomed into a new person and it's like now you're stronger and you have like a different perspective on the way you like see things or like handle problems or, you know, it's just, it's cool to see the growth. Sometimes it gets cloudy trying to figure out, you know, the right thing to do, but I feel like at the end of the day, I always make the right call. And even if I don't, I just go to my family and ask them, like tell them the situation, you know, like, did I do this right? And that's mainly my sister. My sister was always there for me growing up. That's my partner in crime, you know, I love my sister to death. So I appreciate her for that. And she's always supported my music, anything I ever wanted to do. And in a way, she was my therapist through that outside of the music that I was making or listening to. So I have several different outlets, several different outlets of how to handle my own problems. And I'm thankful for those methods that I found. And I'm the kind of person I stress a lot. And I get in my head way too much and way more than I ever would want to. And it's, once you're in your head, it's like everything just stacks on itself, you know? And then after a while, it's like you start thinking about how much is really going on up there and like what's wrong with you in this, like this area and this area and this area. And then after a while, it just keeps going. And then you start to freak out because you have all these problems with yourself. And it starts to, weigh you down. It makes you feel like you're not worth anything. It makes you feel like this isn't normal. And for some people that turns into normal. And that's when it gets really hard to clear it out. You know, like I said, I got into a lot of trouble and going through that trouble, I saw how I impacted my family in a negative way. And it's, it's a hard moment whenever you see like what you might've caused in like to yourself or like the people around you. I hold it against myself too much than I should. And 
I'll like look back on like past experiences or like things that I've done. And it's hard for me to forgive myself. It really is. And most people, or not most people, but some people, let's say, have religion, you know, and they'll uh, apologize to their God, the one that they believe in. And that is some kind of form of closure or like uh, healing, if you will. And for me, uh, I grew up in a Christian household. My auntie uh, had me go to church from like starting at like third grade. And for a while I believed in God. It got me through uh, losses in the family. It got me through uh, bad events that happened to my family or to me. And after a while, it was like I lost my hope. I talk about that in my music. I talk about how I like I'm losing my faith kind of thing. And it's hard to get that back. It really is. And after a while, I kind of just like took a break from like religion and I took a break from what like everybody else was like saying to do, you know, because it wasn't working for me. Everybody has their own way to cope with stuff that they've done or like stuff that's um, like weighing on them. And after a while, I just decided to leave it to the universe. You know, I, I believe in karma. I feel like you put good energy into the world, it'll come back to you. I feel like you do something bad, it'll come back to you. And I kind of, I try and think about that a lot, you know. I try and put good vibes out into the world in hopes that it'll come back to me. Growing up, my parents, my parents were the kind of people that were like, they would tell you, you know, everything's gonna be okay, you'll be fine. When I was a kid, I had it this way. Uh, you don't know what you're going, or you don't know how you actually feel because you're too young. And it's like, it's like you do know, you know, because you are you. Only you know how you actually feel. And growing up with that kind of, that message being delivered to you whenever you're going through something is just, it's narcissistic, you know? And I mean, I see why they say those things, but it's like at the same time, it's like you can't just shadow over what I'm trying to explain to you. I've always like looked out for the people around me, like my siblings, my friends, my mom, my dad, anybody. And in a way, I try and help other people with their problems, but it's like, it's like, what about me? You know, I kind of put that weight on me, but I'm okay with it because as long as they're good, I'm okay, you know? And through that, like taking all that stress and that weight and holding it for them, it's like I kind of just like collapsed under all the pressure. And I, each time that happens, I have to find myself like a way to rebuild back up. And whether that be music or writing or um, talking, Expressing how you feel is like very helpful, even if it is just that one person, you know, I'd rather have a dollar than four quarters, you know what I mean? And it's just good having that one person that you know you can trust. The biggest factor of my stress and like the depression at certain times was I didn't open up. And in a way, I feel like that's kind of how I was raised unintentionally, you know? People have their own problems and some people don't want to put their problems on other people. And those people are, have the biggest hearts, I swear to God, those are the most selfless people. But at the same time, those people are the ones that are probably going through the most. So if you ever, if you ever feel like that, just open up and it's gonna feel so much better when you do. And it's gonna be hard at first, don't get me wrong. So baby steps, but make sure you have some kind of outlet. You're gonna want that outlet eventually, especially whenever you're getting older, because you know that's whenever your, your mind wanders more. That's whenever you have more problems. That's whenever you have more stress. Like, it's hard growing up. It really is. So just open up. Please open up. Talk about your problems. To talk about past experiences or um, what's dawning on me is refreshing. It's like, it's like a, a weight being lifted off of me, you know? And in a way, I kind of feel like the people who helped me. For me, I listen to a lot of music and uh, I see how artists have like impacted the culture or like these people or how they've helped them without knowing them or like directly speaking to them. But in a way, growing up, like I always wanted that, you know, like I've seen how artists have inspired people because they inspired me or they helped me like there's certain uh, rappers or singers that I've listened to that have helped me through so much, like so much that nobody even knows about. It's like, in a way, it helped me feel like I wasn't alone. In a way, like speaking about these kinds of things, it's like something, you know, it needs to be said, you know, because if you don't address it, it's just gonna get worse. And then there's, it's just, everybody's, 
you know, like, it's, everyone's in like some kind of pain or in like some kind of stress. And it's like, if you don't address it, then how can you help? And any way that anybody can help, like me speaking about these things, it's like, maybe you won't feel alone, you know? Maybe somebody out there is just like me, who's like, loves music and has a lot of stress and is always in their head and trying to make something positive come out of like, the bad things that are going on. You know, maybe there's someone out there and maybe there's someone who will see this and will be like, man, if he could do it, I could do it kind of thing, you know? And it's like, it's empowering. Like, even though I might not know who's watching this or I might not know who will, yeah, who's not watching this or who is watching this, like I might not know them, but the message is out there. It's in the air, you know? And I guess it's empowering. It's, it's something that you can have faith in.